The Rust for Linux project has faced serious challenges this year, heated debates among developers, and even a high-profile maintainer stepping down and away from the Linux kernel development, as well as from Acai Linux. Why all this controversy? Well, it seems to be between traditionalists who want to keep a single language to maintain the Linux kernel versus a modern approach by using two languages, including Rust and C. And there's been a massive breakthrough. Greg Crow Hartman, essentially Linux's second in command behind Linus Torvalds himself, the creator, just called this moment the tipping point for Rust in the kernel. Why is his endorsement so crucial? Well, Greg Cage has the ability to shape the future of Linux. And why is he seemingly saying all this? Well, real Rust drivers are now progressing towards the mainline kernel. Things like the Apple GPU drivers, Android binder drivers, and NVMe storage drivers are all currently in development. Also, Rust just got the Ferrocene language specification FLS, which was donated to the Rust project. And that means it gives Rust a formal standardization that's needed for system for safety critical industries like aerospace, automotive, and medical devices. Some experts are even predicting within the next 12 to 18 months, we'll be seeing Rust drivers merged into the mainline kernel, making Linux fundamentally a multi-language kernel after over 30 years of being C-based. Love it or hate it, Rust is coming to Linux and changing how kernel development will work. What do you think? Drop your thoughts below. Also subscribe to get more in-depth Linux news.